So welcome to the self-learning platform by Dr. Shishma Singh. Today we start unit 14, George Willem Frederick Hegel. Let us have introduction about the unit. Hegel was a product of German idealism, which drew considerable inspiration from Rousseau and Kant and integrated it with contemporary popular desire for German unification leading to the rise of the nation states in Europe. Hegel like fat echoed the sentiment of idealism. His assertion that the real will of the individual is not in negation but an affirmation with society meant that the rational will of the individual was expressed in the totality of the will of the state. The consciousness and moral authority of the state subordinated the individual will by the dialectical logic of a spirit. The march of history moves from imperfect to perfect stage, rationally removing all the obstacles of acquiring the distinction between is and ought as real became rational. Though the state is the most important institution of this present ideal, the other two important components were civil society and the family. Freedom played an important role in Hegel, but Hegelian version of freedom was associated with rationality, unlike the thirst of British liberalism, which associated freedom with liberty and individuality. Now, Life and Time of Hegel Born in 1770 in the princely state of Wartenburg, South Germany. Hegel studied theology because his father wanted him to become a clergyman. In 1793, he got the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, from the University of Tübingen. Thereafter, he became a tutor at Bern and Frankfurt and worked as such for about seven years. In 1801, he got a job as lecturer at the University of Jena and later became a professor. In 1816, he was appointed professor of philosophy at the University of Hedenli Park and in 1818 he became professor of philosophy at the Berlin University. This position was held till then by the renowned German philosopher Fenn. Along with this assignment, Hegel also worked the official advisor of Emperor of Prussia, Germany. He held these two positions till his death in 1830. Hegel wrote extensively on various aspects of political philosophy. It was at Jena that he wrote his first major work, Phenomenology of Mind, which was published in 1807. This was followed by publication of the Science of Logic in 1811 to 1812. After the publication of this work, Hegel earned the recognition as an outstanding philosopher of Germany. His third work, Encyclopedia of the Philosophical Sciences, which he wrote during his stay at Heidelberg made him famous all over Europe. 
it was at berlin that he wrote his major work in political theory philosophy of right he also delivered the very scholarly and brilliant lectures which were published by his son after his death under the title philosophy of history his writings and lectures and his many positions as advisor of the emperor earned him international fame and won him many followers he became not only the king of philosophers but also the philosopher of kings next topic is spiritual ancestry Hegel writings show that several philosophers and thinkers of the past immensely influenced him. Hegel borrowed his dialectical method from Socrates. So the ancestry of Hegelian doctrine of dialectical idealism can be traced back to these two great thinkers of the past. One can also discern some influence of aristotle's teleology on hegel teleology is a theory of knowledge according to which a thing is understood in term of its end or purpose for example the end or purpose of a watch is to tell time so telling time is the true nature or to end or purpose of the watch the great german rationalist immanuel kant influence is also discernible in hegel's writings the hegelian idea that the state is founded on reason and the laws made by the state are the dictates of pure reason is quite similar to the kantian position like kant hegel did not give to the individuals the right to resist or oppose the state or laws made by it there are even traces of rousseau's influence on hegel like rousseau's general will the hegelian idea separate or reason is infallible again like rousseau he gave gives primacy to public interest over the private interest you would recall that rousseau had drawn a distinction between the actual will and the real will to put it in hegelian terms rousseau's actual will is that which promotes the self interest of the individual while the real will is that which promotes the public interest because the general will is the condensation or the sum total of all the real wills based on reason it is infallible hegel's philosophy was historicist in nature historicism is a doctrine which is variously understood by different thinkers in its most general sense it is rooted in the assumption that there are limits to scientific knowledge about human activities and achievements and such inadequate scientific knowledge cannot be used as a means for controlling the future course of events contrary to this historicism is linked to ambitions for subjecting all human happenings to rational control now the next topic is influence of historical events In the previous part some of the major influences on Hegel have been spelled out but Hegel was not influenced only by the 
great thinkers of past. Some major contemporary events also influenced him. Two events which exercised considerable influence on Hegel were the French Revolution 1789 and the subjugation of Germany by Napoleon in the beginning of the 19th century. French Revolution overthrew the old oppressive federal order and projected the vision of a new society wedded to the value of liberty, equality and fraternity. The values of liberty and fraternity particularly influenced his writings. The subjugation of the German state by Napoleon disillusioned him and he set out to resolve the perennial political problems of the state. The reconciliation that he advocated in his writings is unique and paradoxical in many respects. Before we take up an analysis of Hegel's political philosophy, it is necessary for us to bear in mind that although he borrowed many of his ideas from Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, Kant and Rousseau, he used them to evolve his own philosophy. He assimilated their ideas in his logical system. In other words, the Hegelian political philosophy stands apart from each of them. Here we want to wind up this lecture. Thank you so much for your attention.